Yes, I'm back. And right now I'm talking about that cop who executed that brother Seville Smith. If y'all remember the video I titled Seville Smith executed by Masters Overseer. He's a little puss boy. But anyway, the article's in the description. It says a Milwaukee police officer who shot and killed a man in August setting off protests. Allegedly sexually assaulted victims and tried to pay for sex and snap photos of unsuspecting acquaintance says according to the authority dominique hagan brown a 24 year old a two-year de department veteran who once performed as an amateur rapper who shot and killed seville smith as he allegedly fled from authorities and it says um and i Identify man who said that he watched TV coverage of the protest Hagen Brown with Hagen Brown at a bar the night after the shooting claimed the officer raped him. According to a criminal complaint filed by Milwaukee Court District Attorney Office, an unidentified man claimed that he drank too much with Hagen was completely out, zoked out of his gourd. I don't know what the hell that means, but okay. Security guard told authorities of seeing men on August 14th. Hagen arrived at the St. Joseph Hospital with a drunk victim the next morning. And as a nurse provided aid to the man, he allegedly flipped out when he saw Hagen Brown, who he connected with through Facebook over their interest in rap music. He, he allegedly said, help me, help me. He touched me. He said, according to the play, he raped me, he raped me. He allegedly said later. Man, remember drinking two Long Island iced teas, three shots of Henny, and a pink drink discussing music with Facebook friend Hagen Brown. Bragged about being able to do whatever he wanted without repercussions, according to the complaint. See, I stopped right there. See, he thought he was a European. He, he being masses mascot, a white supremacy mascot. He thought he was a European, talking about, oh, I can do whatever I want. I just killed a Negro. So he wouldn't have killed him. He wouldn't have killed a white person, but he was quick to kill the trigger with Seville Smith. Got away with it, and he thought he, he thought he was European. He could do whatever he wanted. But at the end of the day, in Master's eyes, he's still a nigga. So this could be a part two when Coonan backfires, but I don't think I'm entitled with that. Digressing and continue. It said the man told authorities that he left the bar with Hagen Brown and woke up to Hagen Brown trying to penetrate him. Struggling to breathe as the defendant raped him, according to the complaint. He repeatedly told him no, but the cop didn't listen. The victim told investigators, the accusations set off inter of an internal investigation as police investigated after Hagen Brown confirmed having the man's belt shirt and cell phone in his car. He allegedly texted a mentor, fucked up big time, but need to handle this most secret and right way possible he Hagen Brown told a mentor that the encounter was consensual but the man was drunk and had medical issues according to the complaint Milwaukee Police Chief Edward Flint said at Thursday press conference the officer was suspended from the department and that he that a mentor a police officer is also under investigation he said that the allegations were extremely disappointing and awful but the investigation into the death of Seville Smith should be investigated based on the circumstances of the shooting rather than Hagen Brown's character. Authorities claim the evidence from the officer's phone led to offensive offenses, including his attempt to pay for sex, secretly recorded sex footage, and new photos of numerous victims, authorities allege. One victim alleged that they went out drinking with Hagen Brown and other friends in July and could not recall how they ended up in his bed naked. The victim later said, sent in a text message, I quote, what the f fuck happened last night, unquote. He replied, nothing, kid. Room on yourself. I left, though, and came back, but I tried to get you in your crib, and the key didn't work, so I think you was at the wrong house. Hagen responded. The victim was stunned to find naked images of Hagen Brown's phone, including a photo showing a part of the defendant's penis close to it, but not touching the victim, according to the complaint. If Hagen Brown, who appeared in anti-suicide smock in court, is currently in custody on a $100,000 bail, faces charges of sexual assault, prostitution, and capturing an intimate representation without consent. 
if he is convicted in all current accounts, he could be sentenced to spend more than 80 years in behind bars and find more than $200,000. God damn. This nigga was booty hunting. He was I knew he was on the he was at on some moist shit when um a video got released like a couple days after he executed our brother, Seville Smith. He was doing some type of moist nigga dance. So he was on this type shit. Lucky for you, Lucky Charms is full of Lucky Charms. Here comes the kids. They're pretty lucky! <laughs> Explain to me what you're doing here. I came looking for booty. You came looking for sex with an underage boy? Oh, no. I, I ain't come looking for no little bars. I ain't got no milk, no cookies, nothing. I came looking for man's butt. A man's butt? Excuse me? Oh, I know who you are, Chris Hansen. But see, I, I calls you Chris Hansen. I watch your TV show all the time. So you can go ahead and bring in them cameras and them police is waiting outside. It don't make me no difference. Now, I tell you what, I like you, and I want you. Now, we can do this the easy way, or we can do it the hard way. The choice is yours. Well, I don't think you and I will be doing anything any kind of way. Okay, I, I see you choosing the hard way. Okay, cut. This isn't working. Someone get this guy <laughs> out. Hey, oh, hey, you ruin that no, no, Chris, I'm no, a, please. I'm a warrior. <laughs> <laughs> This nigga was on, he was on that type of shit. Strong arming for man butt. Rubbing glitter and lotion on niggas butts and shit. He gonna, he gonna really enjoy that shit where he, they put his ass behind them prison bars. A whole lot of niggas into that moist nigga shit. But um, that's just me being a dickhead. Let me know what y'all think about this weird ass story. Get in the comments, like, subscribe, share the video.